हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द रिलेटिव पोलर कोऑर्डिनेट मेथड ओके सो इन दिस मेथड यू हैव टू स्पेसिफाई द डिस्टेंस मूव्ड एंड एट व्हाट एंगल एंड वन थिंग दैट वी नीड टू रिमेंबर इज दैट ऑलवेज योर एंगल विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो डिग्री वेयर एवर यू आर स्पेसिफाइंग द एंगल यू हैव टू स्टार्ट इट फ्रॉम जीरो डिग्री राइट so the syntax for relative polar coordinate method is एट द रेट डिस्टेंस मूव्ड लेस देन एट वट एंगल ओके लाइक वी हैव दिस फिगर लेट अस नेम ऑल द कॉर्नर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ अल्फाबेट्स लेट अस दिस इज ए this is b this is c this is d this is e and this is f g then h i J K L M N <coughs> O and let it be P. Right. So now, if I want to. start the algorithm let us write down now once i want to start i'll be using line command राइट लाइन कमांड प्रेस एंटर ओके फर्स्ट पॉइंट यू नीड टू स्पेसिफाई बाय जीरो कॉमा जीरो और यू कैन स्पेसिफाई एनी पॉइंट ऑन द स्क्रीन रैंडमली सो आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग सिलेक्ट द स्टार्ट पॉइंट राइट सो नाउ आई हैव रीच्ड ए I want to move from A to B. So as I'm moving from A to B, the angle will be. If I'm moving from A to B, the angle will be zero degree, right? So I'll write. at the rate 30 all the sides of this figure are equal to 30 mm at the rate 30 less than 0 right then from b to c if i am moving so this is this is 0 and what about this angle this angle will be equal to 60 this is equal to 60 degree right so i'll write at the rate 30 less than 60 
so in this figure if you see this thing will remain the same at the rate 30 less than and the angle will only change so rather than writing down the whole algorithm let us just find out the angles right <clears throat> so from C again let us start moving further so this will be this is 0 degree and starting the angle so it will be 270 plus 30 so it will be 300 degree then from D to E again it will be 0 degree E to F it will be 90 degree it is quite obvious and it is clearly visible now F to G what will be the angle this is 0 degree so it will be like this is 90 90 plus 60 so it will be 150 degree G to H it will be 30 degree because it is half of 60 60 is given to us so it will be 30 degree this is 30 so I am just writing 30 over here H to I again it will be 90 degree I to J it will be 180 degree J to K now J to K it will be let us start from 0 degree this is 0 180 plus 60 this will be 60 so it is 240 degree then K to L this is 0 degree it will be 90 plus 30 it will be 90 plus 30 so it is 120 degree then L to M again it will be 180 degree M to N it is 270 degree N to O what will be the angle so if this is 0 degree it will be like if I start from here it will be 270 plus 60 so it will be 330 degree <coughs> right then O to P again if this is 0 starting from 0 degree so it will be 180 plus 30 so it will be 210 and P to A it will be 270 degree right I suppose all these angles are clear to you so we will just write at the rate 30 less than all these angles right so let us move to AutoCAD So we will just write the algorithm line press enter specify first point so let us take the first point to be random let us say this is the first point right so we can just see the figure side by side 
So I have reached A. I want to move from A to B. It will be at the rate 30 less than 0. At the rate 30 less than 0. Right. So you have started from here. The next is at the rate 30 less than 60. As per the algorithm. Next at the rate 300 less than 0 sorry uh, at the rate 30 less than 300 then at the rate 30 less than 0 at the rate 30 less than 90 so we have reached at F F to G it is 150 degree at the rate 30 less than 150 then at the rate 30 less than 30 because the angle is 30 degree next at the rate 30 less than 90 so this is not visible so let us just move it downwards so we have reached till i now i to j it is 180 degree <coughs> at the rate 30 less than 180 then next is 240 at the rate 30 less than 240 and at the rate 30 less than 120 at the rate 30 less than 180 at the rate 30 less than 270 at the rate 30 less than 330 at the rate 30 less than what will be the next angle it is 210 210 and then at the rate 30 less than 270 right so this is our complete figure let us just move this figure now increase the line weight <coughs> let us do the dimensioning also so with the help of dim style you can modify the dimensions so this is 30 this is also 30 This is also 30, this is aligned dimensioning. Let us mark the angles also. So this is 60 degree. Right, so this is the figure. This was the required figure. This figure we have drawn by polar coordinate method. Right, so I suppose this thing is clear to you. Thank you so much.